Hello! Are you looking for something fun to do this weekend? You are in luck because I have a few things for you today. How are you guys doing? I don't know what I think about this. My husband got me a new camera and so I'm like a little thrown off because it is super bright, but like, no, I have shadows and I'm like... I don't even know what to think about it. I'm, I'm unsure. So we'll have to see. Hi, my name is Lindsay and I am with Perfectly Pastry. Who is Perfectly Pastry? We are a local bakery in Waterloo, Illinois. How are you doing? If you are watching me live, use um, a heart. Let me know. Like, hey, I'm watching you live. If you're watching me on replay, use hashtag replay. And if it's the first time you've ever caught me live, drop a number one. Let me know. Like, hey, actually, it's the first time I've ever been able to watch you live. Thank you for hopping on. Yes. I, I just don't know what I think about it. I just like everything looks a little more clear. Can you see my wrinkles? Ugh. Okay. Anyways, um, how are you doing this week, everybody? I know I didn't hop on last week. I had just like a lot of last minute things happening last week and I just couldn't get it. Um, get on actually crazy enough. I had like a refrigerator get delivered and then we had like out in our community, they had a bunch of things that they were doing outside and they were making a lot of noise because they were like repaving things. And then I didn't know if my refrigerator was going to be in. And then I had like this big meeting I had to be part of. It was crazy. So I didn't get a chance to hop on. So I'm very, very sorry about that. But I am back again this week. As a matter of fact, like, oh my gosh, I was so slacking. I didn't get do a live. I forgot to post a YouTube video and I forgot to do a podcast. So, you know, win some, lose some, right? I know. I want to let you guys know, we actually have some new products in the shop this week. Um, we have our gluten-friendly strawberry muffin. Yes, it is in the shop. Um, along with our peanut butter. Really? Peanut? Peanut butter? I don't even know. I don't even know. That's the thing. Uh, some peanut butter. You can remove me from the country and move me to Florida, but I still talk like I'm from the country, I guess. Um, peanut butter, fudgy cheesecake. And uh, we have a a new spring flavor. So spring has sprung. Yes. We did a lemon coconut gooey butter. So I'm really excited about that. The lemon coconut gooey butter was my idea. So you got to get in there and try it. And if you're like, I don't know where you're located at, it is scrolling across the bottom. You cannot tell me you don't know what our address is because it keeps scrolling across the bottom there. So I know you see it. If you're watching this, you're watching that. Exactly. Anyways, um, so I was like, hey, I have some things going on that you guys can do if you're like looking for something to do this weekend, right? Ah, uh, yeah. So what am I talking about? So Explore Waterloo is hosting their event. Um, it is April 9th. So it's a bunch of us businesses in Waterloo. Um, we're just, we have like shopping, we have food, we have all kinds of things in between. Um, you go down to the different businesses, you stop by and you get your chance to um, enter in to win a gift certificate to some of the local businesses. So if you're looking for something to do and you're like, I'm already going to be out and shopping, you should stop by for real. Um, we shared the event out on our Facebook page and we'll be sharing it out again. So if you're like, oh, I really wanted the details, you can Slack me or Slack me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've been working too. You can <laughs> message me. Don't Slack me. You can DM me, right? You can DM us. You can comment on this and we will get that information for you. But if you're like, oh, well, I was really wanting to see the Easter bunny while I was out shopping. <laughs> I got something for you for that as well, right? So like the whole family can come explore Waterloo this weekend. Exactly. Uh, I'm going to pull up the details on that one because I don't know that one as well. Um, Amy Hanks and her team is hosting a Meet the Easter Bunny. It is from 10 to 12 on the 9th. Um, and it's at Keller Williams Pinnacle. And it's the Amy Hank team. So if you're like, I wanted to get pictures with the Easter Bunny. This is the prime opportunity. You can get pictures with the Easter Bunny. You can stop and do some shopping, some eating, and just explore everything that Waterloo has to uh, offer for you. Speaking of Easter, it is just around the corner. My hair is sticking up weird. It is just around the corner. And this year, what we have decided to do is we are going to do um, Easter baskets with goody treats in it. So if you're like, oh, that's a wonderful idea. I didn't really want to know what I was going to do. Or, oh, I'm going to Easter dinner and I wanted to bring something, but I didn't know what to do. We actually have little Easter baskets that are stuffed with goodies that you can actually pre-order to pick up um, and take to your different events. Or if you're like, oh, you know, I have Teenagers, I don't really know what to get them. Oh my gosh, teenagers love treats for real. They love desserts and we definitely have all kinds for you guys. So if you're interested in that, you can message us by the shop, talk to us and we can get those orders placed for you. All right, so I am a total bad sister, not gonna lie. 
It's my sister's birthday on Monday. Now, granted, I did post on my first personal Facebook page. So um, if you're like, I didn't see anything, technically I posted on my personal. So, you know, I'm not that terrible of a sister, but it was my sister's birthday on Monday and I didn't post anything from our uh, business account at all. Wishing her a happy birthday. Like how big of a bully am I? I know. What can I say? So if you go in the shop this week, say happy birthday to my sweet little sister. I know I'm a bad big sister and I totally didn't post about it except for on my personal page. And if you're like, oh, like I'd love to see what you posted because I post funny videos and pictures of her. Actually, I tried to choose cute ones this year because like she doesn't like when I post the um, not so flattering ones of her. So I tried to be nice this year. You can definitely look me up on Facebook and check out the pictures I posted of my sister. Cause I, now I can't post them on our, our business group because it would look weird if I like randomly <laughs> started posting about her birthday at this point. Right. But if you're in the shop, wish her a happy belated birthday. Cause I didn't make an announcement. Shame on me. Now, what I did do though, is I did ask her the same questions that I answered for my birthday. I tried to get her to go on live with me, but she's kind of a chicken and she wouldn't do it. I did try them. So whatever. She's a baby. Little baby. I, you know, not only did I not post on my business page, but now I'm going to bully her from my business because <laughs> I am that kind of sister, obviously. Right. So, um, I did ask her, she did send it to me on what, like her answers to these questions. All right. So I am going to read you the question and then her answer because she wouldn't get on here. One thing that this camera is doing that's driving me crazy, and I don't know if you guys can see it on your end, is I move around a lot. Like, I wiggle a lot. My hands move. And it, like, tracks me, and it, like, glows blurry for a second. So, like, if you see that, like, drop it in the comments and be like, oh, I noticed it. Just because I want to know what it looks like on your end. And if you don't tell me, then I have to go back and watch my video. And all of you guys know who do videos. It is the worst thing to have to, like, go back and watch your own videos. Uh, like that's my role. Like people are like, how do you do so many lives and videos? And I'm like, the key is to never rewatch, never rewatch it. Anyway, so let's get into Lacey's question. The questions I ask Lacey, I guess is really what it is. Um, so what is her full name? My sister's name is Lacey Nicole <laughs> Brooks. I almost said Musky. That's not her last name. Um, and actually her middle name is spelled differently than most people. It actually has two C's in it. So it's N-I-C-C-O-L-E. When is her birthday? It was Monday. Her birthday is 4 4 89. Um, what is she insecure about not being perfect? If you guys have been watching our Facebook and our Instagram, um, my sister is doing the reels, and by golly, she has totally upped her real game. So kudos to her. Like she is really, really doing well with that. Um, and so not being perfect is something she's really had to work on because the reels are really hard. And sometimes you like are not in sync when you're talking and all of these things. And she like in the beginning, she's like, that one took me forever. And I'm like, dude, they don't have to be perfect. They just have to be, you just have to do them. Like just do them. Right. I'm like, stop rewatching them. That's my advice to everybody. Don't rewatch them. Terrible idea. Um, all right. So what is her favorite food? She loves fajitas and not just fajitas, but she loves the fajitas we make. Um, we used to use packaged fajita mix. And then my aunt gave us some like ideas on some seasonings and stuff. And she made them and they were like delicious. And then my sister and I like took it and elevated it. Yeah. So my sister and I make some amazing fajitas if we do say so ourselves. And they are the best. Um, like we get to the point that like we make homemade tortillas and everything for it. Like it's a thing when we do fajitas in our house. Um, what food does she hate? She said she hates almost everything. She was like, please like pre-read my answers. And I was like, yeah, no, I don't have time for that. So I didn't. So she's like, oh, um, so she hates almost everything. She's super picky and textures really throw her off. She's picky. Her kid's picky. I actually have a kid that's extremely picky. Like they're all just picky. And I would say I'm picky too, but I'm not as bad as her for real. What is her biggest pet peeve? Um, she doesn't like when people talk down to her and smacking food. And it's funny. She says she doesn't like when people talk down to her because obviously I'm bossy, but that's not, that's not just it. Like, obviously I'm probably guilty of it. I'm guilty of it. Oh God, just be honest. I'm guilty of it. I don't mean to. She's my little sister. What? I don't mean to, right? Like I don't mean it. Um, but my sister, like I have been really working on boundaries and establishing boundaries. And so she, this has been like something that she has been very vocal about to people. Like it's a thing for her and I'm so proud of her for working on it. So kudos to my sister for working on it and smacking food. She hates when people smack, which is actually a pet peeve of my mom's as well. Um, what is her favorite TV show? 
She has a lot of favorite TV shows. My sisters are like loves reality TV, by the way. My mom and my sister, I almost used not so nice words on Facebook, but my sister and my mom really like reality TV. I'm not a reality TV person. I'm not a TV a lot, but yeah, they both love it. But she says, Matt and her love watching Will of Fortune every evening. They're so old. They watch the news in the morning and they watch Will of Fortune at night. Yes, Matt, if you're watching this, I called you and my sister old, like for real. Matt is my sister's husband. Um, in case you were like, I don't know how to use context clues to figure that out. Thanks, Lindsay. Um, what is something, what is something that always cheers you up when she said, oh, this is kind of sweet. She said, my kids, my sister, my mom, and my nieces, which are my kids. Um, so that was kind of a lame. No, that was really sweet of you, sis. Um, what did you do? Um, this one's that weird one. It's like, what did you do on our first date? And she's like, you and I on our first date? And I'm like, no, dude, you and your husband. So it's really, what did she and her husband do on their first date? Um, and she said, oh, hell, I like moved my phone and now I don't know. Okay. She said it, it wasn't their first date. Um, it wasn't our first date. It was on our date. <laughs> So it wasn't actually their first date. Uh, my sister tagged along on a blind date um, with a person who went on a date with her husband. And she did not really find him charming at all. <laughs> so that is love. Love right there. Right? She's like, no, nah, thanks. No, girl, don't. Don't. He's not worth it. And then she ends up marrying him. Maybe deep down she did find him charming. And so she just was like, no, he has to be mine. I don't know. I'll have to ask her after this. I'm going to tell you that's really not what happened. She was really like, no. No, I don't find him charming at all. <laughs> and then she married him. Um, what is her biggest fear? Oh, letting people down. Man, she is brutally honest. Letting people down. My sister is the most loyal person you will ever meet. Like, hands down, like, she will always have your back. It doesn't matter what you do. She will always have your back. And she sees it as, like, that's her biggest fear. I see it as, like, that's her biggest um, like flaw almost because she, she is for real. She just, she's just so kind and caring and would do anything for anybody. Like, and sometimes to a fault, sometimes to a fault. So gotta love her. But sometimes I'm like, girl, no. <laughs> um, if she could travel anywhere, where would she go? Oh, she would come to Naples, Florida to be with her bestie. That's me guys. Just in case you're curious, I'm the bestie. Um, what is the, what are her long-term goals, um, to be successful in business with my mom and my sister? Let's see. No, I totally messed that up. Let's try that again. To be successful with my business and as a mother and as a wife. That's what she said. I was like, and her wife, that doesn't make sense. And then I realized I read it wrong. So yes, she, her goal is to be successful in her business and as a mom and as a wife. So what are her talents? She was like, I'm hilarious. I have to say it the way she would say it. I'm hilarious. Um, she, she means that she's always, she's always making silly comments and cracking jokes and stuff like that. So yeah, she likes to make people laugh and she is really funny. I find her hilarious. She makes me chuckle. Um, what's her favorite smell? That's a weird one. Did I have one? I'm pretty sure I didn't have one, but peppermint is her favorite smell. I find that so bizarre that people have a favorite smell. She probably has peppermint because she gets migraines a lot. And so she'll like use peppermint oil to get rid of her migraines, which by the way, like burns, like I don't suggest it, but she does it all the time. She, she loves peppermint oil. Um, probably cause she likes the smell of it. Right. Uh, she said, what, what's, what's her favorite pastime? She said, who has time for pastimes? <laughs> watching reality TV. No, I don't know. That's a good one. I don't know what her pastime is, but yeah, she was like, who has time for that? Um, cause if you're not working, you're raising your kids and you're being a spouse. So, you know, pastimes, what are those? Um, what is one of her best childhood memories? Uh, -huh. my sister and I swimming in our homemade, pools. When we were kids, we grew up on a farm and we had those large uh, cattle troughs to water that wasn't the feeding troughs, it's the watering troughs. And we would fill it up with water and go swimming. And as a matter of fact, one time the cows were just like, what are y'all doing? And they were like coming over and looking at us and we were like jumping up and scaring them. Um, yeah, sometimes we would like tip it on the side and try to run in it like a hamster, like it's a hamster wheel. Yes, that is what we did to entertain ourselves. You guys, I could tell you a million stories growing up on a farm. Some of the weird things that we did to entertain ourselves because 
we didn't have a lot of people around. Like there were no neighbors for us to play with. It was just two of us, uh, which is fine because we're besties and we don't mind. But like we used to use the trailer and play that we were or- orphans and it was a runaway train. I was really into the boxcar children when I was younger. And so like our trailer is kind of like, well, like, oh, you know, it's a cattle trailer, cattle trailer, like it hooks up to the truck and stuff. And so it'd be like our train and we'd be like jumping on it and swinging in and swinging the door closed. And those are some of the things we did. Yeah. Uh, does she have any, <laughs> this is what she's talking about. She's like, do I have any allergies? I don't know. So she's like, um, I'm allergic to BS. Ha <laughs> ha. J to the K. See, she's such a jokester. Uh, she's like, I don't really have any allergies, which we, we really don't. So she really didn't have an answer. I think I was just like, I'm not allergic to anything where she had a clever answer and I did not. Um, <laughs> if you could be any animal, what it, would it be? Uh, she said a sloth. She said, no one minds how slow they are. <laughs> My sister, my sister and my middle child are literally the slowest people ever. Like you can give my sister like ample time to get ready and she is going to be late. Like she cannot get like, seriously, you'll be like, Lacey, you have three hours to get ready. Okay. Just be ready in three hours. And the next thing you know, it's five minutes till and she's running around like a chicken with her head cut off being like, ah. I'm not quite ready yet. I'm going to be just a little bit late. And I'm like, a little bit late? What do you mean you're going to be just a little bit late? Like, we, we've we talked about this. So, yeah. So, that's funny that she wants to be a sloth. Yeah. So, those are my sister's birthday answers to her birthday questions. And then this summer, I will get my mom's questions to those same birthday questions. Uh, maybe my mom will do it live with me since my sister would not. Who knows? Um, anyway, so that is all that I have for today. If you're watching this live, I want to remind you that you should be liking this and following us on Facebook. If Facebook is not really your jam, that's okay. We are on other social media. Um, we are at Perfectly Pastry Bakery on Facebook. All the other social media, it is at Perfectly Pastry. All right, you guys, I'm going to hop off of here and I will be back again next week where we will talk about whatever topics I've decided that that day, right? All right, you guys, you have a wonderful rest of the week and we can't wait to see you guys this weekend.